We are going to talk about the delusion of science with British biologist Dr. Rupert Sheldrake today. He has to be one of the world's most innovative scientists. He is the author of more than 80 scientific papers and 10 books, and he is best known for his groundbreaking theory of morphic resonance. And we are going to begin with an overview of the 10 dogmas of science. Dogma one is the assumption that nature is mechanical or machine-like, that everything in nature is like a machine. Animals are like machines, plants are like machines, and we're like machines, lumbering robots in Richard Dawkins' vivid phrase. Our brains are like genetically programmed computers. Um, so that's the first assumption that's been in science since the 17th century. And the second assumption is matter is unconscious. The whole universe is made up of unconscious matter. Um, all of nature is made of unconscious matter. Our bodies are made of unconscious matter. Uh, but for some peculiar reason, our brains become conscious. And that is one of the big problems for materialist science. Um, consciousness ought not to exist at all. Um, the third assumption is the laws of nature are fixed. They were the same at the moment of the Big Bang as they are today, and they'll be the same forever. And so are the constants, which is why they're called constant, things like the speed of light and the gravitational constant. Uh, the fourth assumption, the total amount of matter and energy is always the same. Uh, it all came into being at the Big Bang. Uh, it's been the same ever since, and it'll be the same forever. Uh, the fifth assumption is that nature is purposeless. There are no purposes in animals or plants or in uh, life as a whole. And the entire evolutionary process has no purpose. It's just uh, come, about by, come about by blind chance and the laws of nature. Assumption six, biological inheritance is material. It's all genetic or epigenetic or possibly in cytoplasmic inheritance, but, but in any case material. In dogma seven, memories are stored as material traces inside the brain. All your memories are inside your head in some way, stored in nerve endings or phosphorylated proteins. or some, No one knows quite how, but the assumption is they're all in the brain. Dogma eight is your mind is inside your head. It's an aspect of the activity of the brain. Um, dogma nine, psychic phenomena like telepathy are illusory. Um, they appear to exist, but they're not real. <coughs> That's because the mind's inside the head and can't have any effects at a distance. And dogma 10 is mechanistic medicine is the only kind that really works. Um, alternative and complementary therapies may appear to work, but, but that's only because people would have got better anyway, or it's the placebo effect. Mm. And, and that's why governments and medical research funding and so on uh, funds only mechanistic medicine based on the principle the body is a machine um, working on chemistry and physics, so it can only be treated chemically or physically by drugs or surgery. Um, and of course, that's very effective up to a point, but um, it's just part of medicine. Um, anyway, that's the assumption. So these are the 10 assumptions on which the modern mindset is based. O almost all educated people have this as their default worldview because it is the standard view of modern science. 